you've been through Why you got scars Since you walked through the door I've been trying to reach you Cause I feel you What's the story to tell? What's the story behind? The mountain you're trying to climb Think of her What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, or if you are brand new, what's up? I am Jennifer. We have another meal prep video coming at you guys, and this is the very first meal prep of 2022, the very first meal prep of the three for 30 challenge. And I have to say, thank God for the meal prep this week, because it has been like just a high stress, chaotic week. I go into a little more detail in my weekly vlog, so make sure you guys are looking out for that. I've already filmed this intro. A couple times I'm trying to like get caught up. I'm super behind on a lot of stuff, which in the big scheme of things really doesn't even matter because thank God my daughter ended up in the hospital and no, it's not the Rona. I know everybody's gonna ask that and she's fine. She got out last night, thank God, but she's been in there all week. And of course that absolutely took priority in my life and my complete focus and thank God for meal prep so that I could still focus on staying healthy and hitting my goals in that high stress time. And plus I just didn't have time to cook. I wasn't home. I was grabbing it and running out to the hospital. So that made life easy because you can eat healthy out grabbing stuff at stores and stuff like that, but it's not going to be the same as prepping at home, weighing everything out yourself, knowing exactly what's all in there, having it already plugged into your food app or whatever it just it definitely saved me this week for sure and more ways than one so thankful that I did meal prep but like I said I'll chat with you guys more about that in the weekly vlog so make sure you guys are looking out for that and sorry they're doing some construction down the block so I don't know if you guys can hear that or not if it's too loud but if you guys want to see what I whipped up for meal prep this week to kick off 2022 just keep watching you're like a circle that floats around me Keeping me safe and sound And when I fall, you tied a rope to me You're blessing me every day I was down with an illusion Like a spell Okay, first up on the meal prep chopping block this morning is going to be strawberry cheesecake overnight oats. You guys know I love overnight oats. They're super easy to meal prep and they're delicious and they make life through the week incredibly easy. Just grab and go. They're ready to rock and roll. And so all of you that have followed me for a while know that this is something I meal prep often. But for any of the newbies that I have that are maybe new to the meal prep game and just starting out at the beginning of the year wanting to get into some meal prep and healthy eating, I'll just go over really quick how I throw mine together. Together. I have found that equal parts of oats and liquid normally make the best creaminess that I like but again if you want them creamier or not you can add as little or as much as you would like. I'll run over the ingredients real quick and then show you how I throw them together. I am going to be using some of these Quaker oats. These are the rolled overnight oats. Picked these up from Walmart a few weeks ago if you guys caught it in my grocery haul and I've made the wedding cake overnight oats which were awesome with these and they turned out delicious. So that's what we'll be using. Sorry also if you guys hear cartoons in the background. I have my grandbaby over this morning, so it is what it is. We got to still make our meal prep happen no matter what. So we're working with a little bit of cocoa melon in the background, but I'm also going to go in with some unsweetened original almond milk. I'm going to be adding one of these two good strawberry yogurts. I'm going to use one full container per overnight oats. And then this is the star of the show, strawberry cheesecake protein powder from PE Science. This is the first time I'm going to be trying it. So I'm eager to see how it's going to taste. All all their protein powders I've had the pumpkin snickerdoodle cake pop all of them are bomb so I'm sure it's gonna be delicious and then of course we're gonna throw some fresh cut strawberries that you just saw me chop up right on top and we'll be good to go so we're gonna start off with a half cup which is 40 grams of the overnight oats and like I said however much well you don't have to be like me and throw it everywhere but you just want to, however much oats you add, you just want to do like equal parts liquid. And then after you make it a couple times, you'll get it down to a science of the consistency that you like and you can adjust accordingly. 40 grams. Now we're going to add our protein powder. 30 grams. So just give that a little mix and now we're going to add our liquid. We're going to add 77 milliliters of almond milk. That's just an odd number. That's just what I have found that I like. 
well, 79. So that's what we'll be adding. That's why it's honestly better to measure your liquid and something else because once it's in there, you can't take it out if you accidentally over pour or you're too heavy handed. So I suggest doing that maybe in like a little measuring cup or something and then adding it in. And I mix this all together like this just to show you guys. But when I do the rest of them, like I'll weigh out each of the oats in there and then each of the protein powder. But you could do whatever makes it the easiest and quickest for you. Now we're going to add an entire container of the yogurt without making a huge mess here. And then we're just going to mix this baby up. Make sure you get everything off the bottom and that you incorporate everything really well. Okay, so I have it all mixed up really, really good. Now I'm going to throw some fresh cut strawberries right on the top. About 40 grams. And you could wait and just top it the morning that you have them and just throw some fresh on there. I'm just doing this to make life easy. 40 grams and that will be perfect. Gonna pop a lid on these, throw them in the fridge. They will be perfect come tomorrow morning. Okay, protein oats are done, so breakfast is taken care of. Now we're gonna move on to lunch and I am starting with some eggs in the air fryer. Instead of boiling them on the stove, I'm gonna be cooking over on the stove. It's just easier to throw them in the air fryer. I'm gonna pop them on about 270 for about 17 minutes or so and they should be perfect. Okay, and while those eggs are cooking in the air fryer, as I'm sure you can hear, hopefully that's not too loud, we're gonna go ahead and start prepping up our first lunch for this week. I'm going to be having this three different times this week, so I am making quite a bit, plus the hubby will be having some as well. So I have two and a quarter pounds of lean ground beef here. This is the 93% lean, 7% fat. I just picked up at Walmart this week. I have two bags of the Green Giants cauliflower medley. Already has the peas and carrots in there. Awesome macros, super easy to cook, and they are delicious. Absolutely love these. I like the ones that have the asparagus and mushrooms in it too, the risotto medley. That one is really good as well. But I already had these in the freezer, so I'm just going to toss those in. You could, if you wanted to, use regular rice in this or omit the rice all together and just do the Brussels and the beef if you wanted to. I picked up two bags of these already halved Brussels sprouts just to make life easier. Preparation for this meal prep easier. Cut corners where you can. Make life easy where you can. If you want to buy them whole and cut them yourself or shred them yourself, more power to you, but this just makes life easier for me to get them already halved. Target also carries them already shredded if you would rather them that way and that will make life super easy as well. But we're just going to roll with this today and that will be perfect. And then of course the star of the show, the G Hughes sugar-free sweet chili sauce. You guys know this is my jam. Absolutely love this. So I will be adding that in there and I will link the original recipe that I got the inspiration from, from Pinterest down below. I of course am just tailoring it to my own likes and my own macros, but I will link that video that I got the original idea from down below. And then of course, no meal prep is successful unless it's powered by Bang, right? So I'm gonna start by going ahead and popping this baby in the microwave get it cooking. So next, if you guys can even hear me over the microwave, the air fryer, we've got all the things going. But I'm going to go ahead and weigh up my ground beef first. When you're cooking in bulk like this and making like big recipes or just any time for tracking, it definitely is worth the time just to take the extra minute and weigh up your protein or veggies or whatever because it makes a difference when you are cutting. Okay, so I have my meat weighed up in the pan over medium heat. I'm just starting to brown it and to it I am going to add some Badia Complete Seasoning, Redmond's Real Salt, and some ground black pepper. I also weighed up my Brussels sprouts here. If you don't have that extra time to do that, it's not the biggest deal, but if you want to be the most accurate when tracking your food, highly suggest it. So I'm going to go ahead and get the seasonings in here and get this meat browned up. I've got these cooked down like I want. It has all those awesome brown bits on the bottom, which we will get off. We're going to add the meat back in. I wish y'all could smell this. OMG. We're going to add our cauliflower rice in. 
I have the second bag of cauliflower all mixed in there and it looks perfect how I want it. Here I have 182 grams of the sweet chili sauce. I'm just going to go ahead and mix this right in and then we will get this weighed up into the individual meals. And you could add as little or as much of this sauce as you want, depending on if you like a lot of heat or not a lot of heat or just what consistency you want it. That's totally personalized. Like a sparrow with broken wings, but now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet. So we're going to go ahead and start on the second lunch and I'm going to throw some of these Black and Tyson chicken strips in the air fryer. Super easy. These are actually easy enough. You could just make them day of. They take 10 to 12 minutes depending on how crispy you like them in the air fryer and you could just throw them on a salad. Easy peasy. But I'm already prepping everything so I figure I'm just going to have them ready to rock and roll. I'll chop them up cold and throw them right on my salad and be good to go. So I have 12 ounces in there because I'm splitting it up for two different meals. Six ounces each. So I'm going to throw these on on about 10 or 11 minutes and they'll be good to go you're like a circle that floats around me keeping me safe and sound and when i fall you've tied a well friends we did it meal prep is done and ready to rock and roll for the week and i am next level stoked about this because i already tasted a bite and it is phenomenal that sweet chili sauce is where it's at make sure to catch the weekly vlogs to see if i pair stuff with it or if i change anything up through the week and also how i throw the salads together i will be adding like cheese and bacon bits tomatoes i don't want to cut the tomatoes early because i don't want them soggy i'm super big on texture if you've been around for a minute but i have my lettuce washed and chopped and ready to go cucumbers ready to go chicken ready to to go to throw on top breakfast done for the week and even have some of these for hubby as well have some boiled eggs to go on the salad so we are ready to rock and roll for the week also quick little pro tip throw a paper towel in your veggies and all the moisture that it releases will wick up into the paper towel and help keep them fresher longer i throw one in the bottom of my boiled eggs i always put one in my lettuce or any of my veggies really and it definitely helps keep them fresher longer all right guys so that's a wrap for this week's meal prep everything turned out delicious you guys know overnight oats are my jam and that strawberry cheesecake protein powder is 10 out of 10 definitely recommend that i'm gonna play with it and make some more stuff too so i'll definitely keep you posted on that the sweet chili beef and brussels was amazing i'll be making that again for meal prep or even for a dinner it was phenomenal and salads are always an easy go-to i did it that construction is so loud i'm sure you guys can hear it but hopefully it's not too distracting but I didn't do any dessert in this week's meal prep because I just wanted to keep it simple and basic. Just doing the rice cakes and nut butter, bill bars, just stuff that's already prepped and ready to rock and roll and delicious and keeping it easy for the first week just to get back into the rhythm and routine after the holidays and all of the stuff. And that seemed to work out really good. So everything turned out delicious. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing for meal prep this week. Um, we'll see how everything goes. What I have time for, I didn't. I wasn't able to obviously over the weekend get anything done and prep for this week. Also with my videos, I'm super behind in editing. So all the videos will be up on random days this week. So make sure that you guys are subscribed. Make sure your notifications are clicked. That way, whenever I post the videos, you guys will know. I'll also post them over on IG. So of course, hit me up over there at Emma Jen. I'll pop my handle on the screen here. And thank you so much for bearing with me, guys. Videos going up late and not being that present over on IG. But of course, obviously, my daughter, all my children come first 
in my life before everything as I'm sure all of yours do as well so thank you for everybody that reached out over on IG asking me if everything was okay and all of that it is and we're doing good and awesome and healthy and thank God for that so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you're meal prepping right now let me know down in the comments below what your like favorite meal prep go-to item would love to try out some new stuff and as always thank you guys so very much for watching and I'll catch y'all in the next video I lose control